Marshall took on Old Dominion this weekend to wrap up their homecoming festivities. There was a lot of excitement for the Thundering Herd heading into this game as they're undefeated so far this season. Anchor Zach Gilliland breaks down the details. Unlike the last two times these teams have met, there were plenty of points and plenty of fireworks on homecoming. Marshall beats Old Dominion 41 to 35 to open up Sunbelt play. The Thundering Herd are now 4 and 0 on the season. The Thundering Herd were looking for their first 4-0 start since 2020. The Monarchs were led by their running game. Jack Shields on the option keeper takes it 66 yards to the house on their third play of the game. Old Dominion would jump out to a 21-3 lead. Marshall fires back in the second quarter. Cam Fancher to Caleb Combs. He has some great blockers out in front of him and will score from 22 yards out. The Herd going to halftime down 21-17. Second half, here comes the, the Herd. Cam Fancher, nice pass to Caleb McMillan, a 40-yard gain. Fancher with a career-high 380 all-purpose yards. That sets up Rasheen Ali with a short touchdown run. Marshall caps off a 95-yard drive to take their first lead of the game, 24-21. After a fumble, Marshall's defense comes up big. Eli Alston picks off Shields, and the big man will take it 85 yards to the house. The Thundering Herd take the 31-21 lead, and Jones C. Edwards Stadium is fired up. The Herd counters an ODU touchdown with one of their own. Ali from a yard out, two touchdowns on the game. He has nine on the season. Old Dominion not going away. Kadarius Callaway breaks off a 75-yard run. The Monarchs had 339 yards on the ground. Callaway had 236 of those go along with three touchdowns. It's a six point game. Late in the fourth quarter, a deep ball from Shields, but it's the Cabell Midland grad J.J. Roberts on his first homecoming game with the big interception. Marshall wins 41 to 35. The herd improved to four and oh. Yeah, I told him in the beginning of the week that this would be the toughest game on our schedule you know, thus far. Um, not because of just who the logo or the opponent was, um, but because of the circumstances, right? You're in game four, you've already had a bye week, you're battling, you're battling a really tough opponent. Every year we play them, this is the, that type of game. Next up for the Thundering Herd, they'll travel to Raleigh, North Carolina to face NC State next Saturday at 2 o'clock. The next time their home is October 17th. That's a Thursday night game against James Madison. At Jones C. Edwards Stadium, I'm Zach Gilliland for 13 Sports Zone.